Where's the money, huh? I said, where's the money? These men are criminals, but are they monsters or people just trying to make the best of their situation? A year ago, Maverick producer Alan Lubke was wrapping up his anthology of the underworld. His enigmatically titled segment is the subject of tonight's tribute. Please enjoy The Rampers. Yeah, you could say I grew up in a pretty tough neighborhood. In Bensonhurst, the mob ran everything, and there were local street gangs everywhere. It was tough that way, but it kept the neighborhood safe. No one pulled jobs in Bensonhurst. That was rule number one. Rule number two, don't with the rampers. Now the rampers are tough. We were always banging heads. When we were young, we took an oath. We were gonna be together forever. The world. Everybody, even the mob. Later on, that changed. But that was our attitude then. That's Nick Moretti. He's younger than the rest of the rampers. I got held back in the second grade two years in a row, and we ended up in the same class together. Nick liked pulling jobs so much, he'd make a game out of them. Now the big guy comes off the bat, hitting 342 with 92 RBI and 36 over. Swings at the first pitch and fouls it deep back into the stands. Count is now 1-1 one one with two outs. Nick was always joking, trying to make people laugh. So the talent agent says, that, that's the grossest thing I've ever heard. What do you guys call yourselves? He goes, the aristocrats. Why do you gotta say stupid shit? Why? It's a joke. It's supposed to be funny. Well, it ain't. Then there was Jimmy Emma. He hated bad jokes. But really, he just hated everything. If there was anything to hate about anything, Jimmy Emma hated it. The rampers all called him Jimmy Enema. Because when he'd rob a joint or stick someone up, he always said he cleaned their ass out. Jimmy was definitely the craziest. He never knew what he was going to do. But out of all the rampers, I was closest to him. Peter Rossi didn't live in Bensonhurst, but he'd been with the Rampers for as long as I could remember. His parents moved when he was 12, and now he was the Rampers' contact on Long Island for fencing loads. If any of us needed a car, he'd get it for us at cost. We'd rob the car and he'd change the engine number and plates. New registration and everything. It'd be totally clean. Now Lorraine wasn't a ramper, but all the guys knew her because she was my girl. She wasn't a bit Italian, but she was so good looking that it didn't matter. Lorraine was a good girl, a completely innocent kid. Not like the sluts I was used to. She never got into any trouble. But she got a kick out of hanging around the rampers. We were gonna get married, no question about it. It was just a matter of when. And that's me, Sammy the Bull. I got the name when I was 10. I fought two kids bigger and older than me for stealing my bike. I got beat up, but I fought my ass off. Some local wise guys saw the fight and said I was like a bull. Word got around and pretty soon everyone was saying it. Even the cops would ask for the bull when they'd come around later on. The Rampers had a tough reputation. We didn't give a fuck about anything. Mob guys hated us for it. When the mob whacked someone, it was strictly business. But with the rampers, it was never just business. That's what made us so dangerous. 